Sam's Epic Movie Reviews. Yo, what up everybody? It's your boy Sam, the Micro Machine Man. And welcome to my review of Iron, Iron Man. Man. Oh, oh my god, I love this movie so much. I just rewatched it a few days ago. Oh, it's just so good. Where to start with this movie? First off, let's just start off with Robert Downey fucking Jr. Next to Hugh Jackman, this is like one of the most perfect castings ever. Like, his whole story is amazing. In the 80s and 90s, Robert Downey Jr. was an actor, but he wasn't like this big, like, Arnold Schwarzenegger actor or anything. Like, he wasn't that famous. And then he actually, sadly, suffered through, like, substance abuse and drug addiction, and then so a lot of people just didn't want to work with him. But then, in 08, John Favreau, the director of Iron Man, and who also plays Happy Hogan in the movies, he was like, yo, we gotta cast this guy. And a lot of people disagreed. They were like, no, no, we can't. But John Favreau was like, no, give him a chance. We can make this guy awesome. And they did. They fucking did. And like the awesome thing about Iron Man, it's the match that started the fire. The MCU is the biggest film universe, highest box office, like highest grossing, all that. And it all started with Iron Man. And you know, a lot of MCU movies, they're all awesome. But like a lot of them, you know, they'll like make references to other movies or like, oh, you gotta see this movie to see this movie or something. But like, this is like the first one. So you just watch it and it's just like this independent, awesome movie. And it is so good. Oh my God. Also, another good performance, Jeff Bridges. He does an awesome job as the villain, Obadiah Stane, classic villain in the comics, Iron Monger, oh, uh, Gwyneth Paltrow as Pepper Potts is like, what? This, this movie is just insanely off the charts. Oh, so good. Yeah, the action is also super good. And the movie is like realistic too. Like it takes Tony Stark a while in the movie for him to like master flying his suit. And there's like a bunch of funny scenes where he's like learning how to fly and stuff. And it's really good. And it's really faithful and honoring to the comics that this like movie exists. It's just, uh, it's just so good. It, it holds a special place in my heart, you know? Uh, this was, I think it was like the third Marvel movie I ever saw. I saw Thor first back when I was eight and then I watched the Avengers the next day. And then a few days after that, I watched Iron Man. I was like, whoa. And I hadn't like returned to the first Iron Man in a while. So when I returned to it, I was like, whoa, this movie is so good. Just Tony Stark being like, oh yeah, I love peace. Oh yeah, mm, sure don't, yeah. Mm. Yeah, uh, it's it's so good. Let's see what else is there to uh, talk about with this uh, movie. Oh, also going back to my review of The Last Airbender, the guy who plays Iroh in that movie, he's in this movie and he plays Ho Yinsen, who's a great character. And yeah, so that's pretty cool. And the action scenes are just so good. Like when he escapes out of the cave and he's like, So motherfuckers. And he just lights them all on fire and then he like barely escapes with his life. I was like, whoa, it's, it's just so good. Like the, it, this movie also adds some like suspense factor to it. Like there's like terrorists in it and stuff. So it's like, whoa. And in this movie, it's awesome because Tony Stark's like an asshole in this movie. Like he's like this rich asshole. So... He has like one of the best arcs in cinema history when you compare how he is in Iron Man to how he is in Endgame. He goes from self-sacrifice to self-serving. And I just think that's awesome. Like Robert Downey Jr. kills it as Iron Man. And it's just so awesome. And now he's like one of the highest paid actors in the world. So it's great. Another awesome action scene I like in this movie is when uh, Iron Man is flying and then there are these military planes following him and they're like, oh, uh, what the hell is that? And then they're like, oh, it's a dude. And then uh, Tony's calling his friend Rhodey and Rhodey's like watching the Iron Man not knowing if it's Tony and he's just like, oh, what, what, what's what? <laughs> it's, oh God, it's so awesome. It is so awesome. And he like uh, saves up pilot after he accidentally crashes one of the jets it's just 
so awesome. Phil Coulson, Clark Gregg does a good performance. He gives this like cool, like chill, very chill performance of Phil Coulson, Agent of S.H.I.E.L.D., which is very awesome. Yeah, this, this movie is just awesome. Like, if you haven't seen this movie, go watch it right now. Like, if you're a Marvel fan and you've seen, like, Avengers or something, like, watch this movie. This movie is the match, all right? It's the match that started the fire. Oh, God. It's, just, it's so good. It's so good. I could talk about it for, like, years. It's just about, like, how good it is. Like, honestly, the scene where he's building the suit in the cave and they're, like, making it look like they're building, uh, missile they're like being very strategic so that like the terrorists don't catch them or anything oh that's awesome, awesome. also okay i'm gonna get into uh spoilers now so there's your spoiler warning Ooh, spoilers uh in the end when phil colson gives him these notes and he's like oh yeah here's your alibi you were on your yacht yeah just we can keep this whole iron man thing a secret and then tony's like eh you know what i'm just gonna tell the world that i'm iron man because like yo i got this new suit thing and so he just goes up to the press and he's like the truth is i am iron man and the movie ends right there and it's just like Seriously, this movie is so awesome, guys. Definitely check it out. 10 out of 10 recommend. All right, guys. Peace out. Love you.